guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make an easy but yet delicious shrimp fettuccine alfredo dish so for this I'm going to be using this fettuccine I'm using about half of this box and I'm cooking my pasta according to the package instructions and I have 22 jumbo size shrimp that are deveined and clean to clean it I just use a piece of lime and rub my shrimp with and rinse it under some cold water and I have one cup of chicken broth and or chicken stock and this is the brand that I'm using the Swanson and I have half a cup of whipping heavy whipping cream and this is the kind I'm using and I have a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose flour and I will be using about a teaspoon and a half of my black truffle oil and I'm going to be using about two teaspoons of my Slap Your Mama seasoning and one tablespoon of butter and I have some Parmesan cheese that I will be grating myself using a grater and you can put as much or as little cheese that you wish and of course some salt and pepper and I'll be using some parsley just to decorate my plate so please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video for you guys so let's get cooking guys okay so to get started we're gonna start off by seasoning our shrimp so I want to sprinkle some of that slap your mama seasoning so about one teaspoon and mix that in Remember guys, this is um, this have a little heat to it and they have some salt so just make sure you are careful careful of how much of that you are adding and then now I want to go ahead and take my flour and mix that in with my shrimp. Doing this um, doing this step will make me don't have to make a roux. If you guys seen my mac and cheese video, I usually make a roux where I put butter and flour and cook the butter and then add my milk to make that roux. But because I add this, I don't have to do that step. So now I'm going to set this aside and let it marinate in this flour mixer for about 20 minutes. So just set it to the side and then meanwhile I'm going to go ahead and cook my pasta and then we can start making this dish. Okay guys, I have my stove set to medium high and I'm going to go ahead and put in my butter and then I'm going to add just a little bit of the truffle oil. Oops. Added way more than I wanted but okay. And now you want to go ahead and take your shrimp and put them in there and cook these about two minutes per side or until they are cooked. So we are looking for them to turn pink. When they turn pink, that's how you know your shrimp is done. Okay, so my shrimp are done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them and basically place them in the thin dish that I marinate them in with the flour and everything. So you want to go ahead and remove them. I do have um, other pasta dishes, my baked macaroni and cheese. If you haven't, please check out that video. I will leave the link for that down in the description box for you guys to check out. So now you want to go ahead and add your chicken broth to this. And add that cream. I like to make a little more sauce than I need because I like to take some out if my pasta is too little so that way um, I don't just drench my pasta into that um, beautiful cream and if I need to add a little more I can always add more so now we are going to season our cream so I'm going to add some of that slap your mama seasoning to that and some freshly grated black pepper 
and a little bit of salt. Please taste your food and add the salt to your own tasting. And I'm going to taste. And I'm going to allow this to cook for about two minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on it. We don't want it to thicken up because we don't have enough flour in there, but we just want it to cook for a little bit so that flavor can gather up together and get to know each other. So let it cook for about two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, you wanna go ahead and return that shrimp into that creamy sauce. And let that cook for about one minute. If you haven't, please go follow me on Facebook and come follow me on Instagram. Come snap with me on Snapchat and go follow me on Twitter. I will leave the link for all those down in the description box for you guys to check out. So let's be social media friends so I can see what everybody is up to so you guys can see what I'm up to as well. So let this cook for about a minute. Okay, so now you wanna come in with the pasta. Make sure you add salt to your pasta water, guys, to your water before you cook your pasta, because you want to add some flavor to your pasta before you add it to that cream sauce. So just add some salt and a little bit of oil to your pasta when you are cooking it. So now you just wanna mix everything in. Remember I told you guys I like to take a little bit of that cream sauce out. I took about half a cup of that out. And just make sure you mix everything. At this point I have my stove set on medium. Again, taste your food, of course, guys, when you are cooking. This look and smell so good already. And now I'm going to take a handful of my cheese and just put on top of it. Another handful, I like my nice and cheesy. And just mix that in. This is a super quick easy recipe to have on a busy night or also just to have as a nice fancy meal. I have a lobster video up on this channel so if you guys want you can make yourself a nice semi expensive meal by making some lobster to go with this meal as well and some asparagus and you got yourself a $50 meal from a restaurant. I want to add just a little more cheese. You can add as little or as much cheese as you want. So I'm going to let this cook for a minute and then it will be done. Of course you want to taste. So I'm going to taste this piece. Tastes really good. Like I said, you guys, make sure you are seasoning your pasta when you are cooking it with some salt and a little bit of oil. That will make a big difference to your dish. You don't want to over salt it, of course. Just put like half a teaspoon of salt or one teaspoon of salt to your water. So let this cook for a minute and then it is pretty much done. All right, this dish is done. Now all I have to do is sprinkle some parsley flakes, some dry parsley flakes on top of that. And I have myself a beautiful pasta, pasta dish. And this will do it for this video, guys. Please don't forget to check out my other pasta videos, which I will have down in the description box for you guys to check out. Please give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful, if you found it to be delicious. And please, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys comment like and again, please please share with everybody You know as always. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I love you guys for watching see you in my next video. Bye. Bye